most of us talking like this this thing happened that thing happened that very moment yes yeah yeah no no so this kind of words you are using all the time while you are communicating with the people so are you satisfied with your yeah yeah no no that thing happened this very moment so if not see more examples whatever you people are using atyachar we did with english from the very beginning english is wrecked everywhere we are just doing very bad with the english here and there english is wrecked wanna see some examples through some video clips i will definitely show how you people are dealing with the english me about yourself <laughs> sir i am uh, sitting in front of yourself uh, myself rakesh mahanti and uh, i am uh, technology man but if you will ask me what is my passion i will say hard work but this is for the first time i am doing on spike skype you mean pardon sir okay oh, not um, go on sir i am from jharsuguda uh, i studied 10th saraswati shishu vidya mandir graduate cambridge institute ranchi not from and how do you see yourself progress in this career sir I will have a fruity career in your steamy company. <laughs> Sir, I am working with BSNL telephone company. Whenever the line goes up, I ride the telephone khamba and make the line good. And uh, during my spare time, I chat on girls. On If you don't want to say like this, then you have to learn the vocabulary. new new vocabulary will obviously help you to make your english better if you think that vocabulary learning is boring then be happy with mixing that bengali and hindi in your english like today pollution is too much hawa mein so do you think that hawa mein is the english no right so this is the hindi and you are just telling like this hindi and bengali you people are mixing and you people are happy with this So stop just adjusting with the broken English. Rather, just try to learn vocabulary and reapply those words. Start to learn the new vocabulary of cry. All the time you are telling, "I am crying," "She is crying," "Kids are crying." So how many times you will use crying words in your communication? Rather. reapply another another words means you know another words means another vocabulary substitute to words of cry so last word weep means to shed tears so example how you can use the weeping words in your communication she was so sad that she was weeping continuously and one word is sobbing cry noisily by making loud sound and by catching the breath or gasping so example is you know uh, she started crying or she started sobbing after you know losing her husband number 3 word is whimper whimper means while crying low sound or pitiful sound you are you know creating like feeble sound while you are creating and crying also so example is the puppy started whimpering while all the family members went out leaving her all alone so this means just you know low or feeble sound while crying the four word is moaning so moaning means expressing deep sorrow or intense pain you know after losing your favorite one or someone who is special after death you know whatever is the situation means outward expression like wearing the black dresses and clothes and also creating a sad mood example they started mourning after you know losing their one and only son
Number six word is groaning. Groaning means also that is also crying, but harsh sound you are making while there is pain of physical or mental illness, maybe for the suffering of painful situation. Like she laid up on the floor you know, because of excessive stomach ache. So that very time while you are telling, oh my God, it is paining so much, means you are telling or you know you are making harsh sound you know while you have some suffering or pain you have body pain or any kind of pain seven lament means you know deep expression of sorrow that feeling of loss that dishearten upset mode obviously there and you know lament means not only crying it is more than cry it's a feeling of excessive sadness number eight melancholy melancholy is a word that is a depression of mind excessive sadness it is not for a short period it's just a longer period for a mind she was in a melancholy mode after just losing her friend beloved friend number nine screaming screaming is just utter loud cry while because of pain frustrations you people are screaming loudly so example she started screaming and because of screaming continuously she just fainted and just laid up on the floor 10 that is bowling bowling means crying noisily kids started bowling because whatever they want you know they just not getting that time they can bowl like kids started bowling after losing her favorite toy and useful and commonly used cry vocabulary i have shared with you hope you like and obviously while communicating with others obviously you try to apply those vocabulary in your communication i hope you like so much and do not forget to hit the like button and do subscribe and thank you for watching